I set all this up. Um, because I wanted to talk about perfumes. I guess like my favorite scents, the ones that I love. Okay, so I just wanted to to do that. So yeah, here we go. Here we go. So and these is in no particular order or whatever. But um, so the Chanel number five. Now this isn't the the actual perfume. This is a these be making me feel so dumb. Vaporous tear spray. It's some kind of spray, okay? So it's not the actual perfume. Um one the actual perfume price either, but this one as you can see how much I like it. And then it's white, the actual perfume, you know, is more of a browner color or whatever. Um but I love this as you can tell it's almost done. And so, for this video, I did some research, and this was created by a Russian perfumer, okay, not Coco Chanel. So, this was not, this was adopted by Coco Chanel. And the story behind the name of it is, Chanel number five, is that he made, he made 20 samples for her to go through like okay boom this is what I got for you these are the 20 samples and she picked number five so that's why it's called Chanel number five so I want somebody to comment down below y'all let me know if y'all knew that or if not or because honestly it was news to me um and this was Marilyn Monroe's uh favorite perfume so the actual one from way back then, the one that Marilyn Monroe used to use, it had cat sweat in it, okay? So they actually used to protest this and they banned the actual one. So that's why he had to, or they had to go in and change the formula. But they would put the cat in a thing, okay? Scrub the cat, whip the cat, beat the cat until it sweat and then whatever them was it was some kind of pheromones in it that made the stuff i wish i could smell the original one i need to do that one time in my life because <laughs> baby you gotta show me where you put in the cat piece the cat sweat and it made it better so we'll, we'll see um the next one is okay so it's also chanel it is coco mademoiselle okay love 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 this okay and if you follow it it is a very strong scent this this that one too rich auntie okay rich auntie any season whatever you want to do that's what it's gonna do and the face the new face to this like you know how they change the faces of the perfume is whitney peak so <laughs> let's give it up for whitney peak okay this black girl magic is the new face of Coco Mademoiselle. Yes, I love that for her. Um, this is like the number one, and I was surprised to read this, but it's like the number one fragrance in Australia, and I want to say it said in the world. I I don't know. That's what it said. Okay, the internet ain't never lied to y'all. Stop with Lynn. Number three, Chesse. I mean three, Chess, whatever. Um, Louis Vuitton, okay. <laughs> Louis Vuitton, this word, Atrape Reves. Atrape Reves, I don't know what they were saying, but this right here, this is the rich auntie, rich auntie scent. Okay, that's what this is. This is the best model. If you see the magnet, I love it. And with this size bottle, when you buy it from Louis Vuitton, you, they can refill it. You can go up in there and for another price, like a different price, I might say it's like $125 or something like that, they refill your bottle, so. I haven't had a refill yet, I haven't. I don't wear that much, it's very strong to me and it does get rich auntie. And I only feel this sometimes. Like, I only want to smell this sometimes. But, yeah. And this word, a trepe rebes, it means dream catcher. Isn't that beautiful? Huh? Now, 
ain't no fragrance ex expert. I can't tell you the notes. I don't know if it got saffron. This shit could have burnt wood in it. I wouldn't know. Baby, just, it's, I like it, okay? Um, and then another thing with scents, all scents don't go with everybody's like natural scent or whatever like that. So you have to keep that in mind. Okie dokie, drum roll please for number four. This is one of my all time favorites. I'm talking about bagging the ponytail in the bag and you had the bangs, the tight curled up with the pink roller. Me and this person right here, we go, we go that far back. You see how much this is gone? And newsflash, this is actually the cologne. This is the one for me. I I don't know why. I love it's a Miyaki. Okay. Okay. First of all, this is me. Give me give me a pause. The it's a Miyaki. Right? Okay. I do know what's in here. This got some citrus. This is like a citrus scent. This is such a clean, like boss scent. I can I can picture every CEO ever smelling like this at one point in time in their life. This is one of my favorites, and you see it's almost gone. And when I go back, because I am gonna go back again, I'm gonna get the perfume and the cologne. It's just something about. And when I wear this, I get so many compliments. I get so many compliments, and for men, of course, but. I don't know if they recognize it because they got the same one. But the other one is shaped like the girls. It's me out this shape like that. And I love her too. So um let me see. Oh, it's Miyaki was designed by a, 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 a Japanese fashion designer. And when I was going through researching this, a lot of these fragrances is by like fashion designers and that's weird but i mean i guess creativity is creativity and it probably goes a long way the reason for the color he wanted this to run like water to be clear like water and that's honestly it just gives such a clean feeling like you barely put anything on but you just you really put that shit on i don't know i love this shit and it is i've seen the pink one but i haven't smelled that one i definitely need to smell that one like that's on my set of list um next up do say <laughs> okay this is do saying gabbana rose baby 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 I love her, okay? It's berries. I guess. <laughs> Y'all on my notes. <laughs> on my notes, I put. It's supposed to smell like roses, but made it better. Because when you smell roses, roses smell. I don't know. They smell like. I don't know. But this is most definitely. This is like a pretty smell of like this is how a rose is supposed to smell okay thank you those thing about not getting it together let nature know that this was really what a rose is supposed to say it's so light and cute and like berry it kind of got berries to it like a little berry essence or whatever whatever okay so that was that um up next you remember this from the other video when it came to the mail? But this is what this was for, okay? Um, Versace. Versace, y'all. They said this is supposed to, he designed this because it's supposed to look like the perfect diamond. Baby, <laughs> you right. You shake this out. You right, baby. It is the size of a perfect diamond. Boom. Ring it up. But. Anyway, now, baby, baby, look at her. Look at her and behold, 2006 in a motherfucking choho. Okay? And don't act like I'm lying. Don't act like I'm lying. This right here, clean scent. Um, 
my friend know what I'm talking about. She like this too. She commented on the video that that's one that she like. Um, like I said, this is another one Versace that was created by a fashion designer. Then step over into the perfume lane and have his way. That's crazy. The same with Issy Miyake. The same with the Chanel. Like. I don't get it. I guess it's some kind of correlation and I'm definitely here for it. Okay. That's just that on that. Um. Oh. Yeah. I know a lot of people like this. Right? Right. Gucci Bloom. Okay. This. I love this perfume. I don't know. And then I'm starting as I was going through this. I was like, as I'm smelling all of them, I was like, my, I have a certain type of perfume or certain scents. I like things that are very clean, crisp. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just grab you and hold you. You don't know what to do. This is the embodiment of that. Okay. I was shocked to find out that this was. The first perfume designed by Alessandro Michel. So, your first perfume ever you're designing and you come out shitting like this? This is crazy. Don't you never stop designing perfumes. Like, super clean. They put, not they, but Alessandro, use something called Rangoon in here. And it was the first time that it had ever been used to make a fragrance, to make a perfume. So, I mean, we don't know what Rangoon smells like, but it sounds like a lot of weird stuff has pheromones in it that are going to mix with other pheromones that are going to make things like this. Or like the Chanel, how they was putting the, the kitty sweat in there. But, um, one more, okay? I really don't know how to pronounce this. Swear to God, I don't. Les Interdites by Givenchy. Okay, I know how to say that one. This right here. Gross. Gross. This right here. I mean, I can't say no, but the same thing, because like I said, I'm not no expert. I really don't know what to say. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'll be better at wine tasting than this. So this is really just showing you my favorite ones. But um, these was designed especially for Audrey. Hepburn. Y'all remember her, the little lady in the movies and all the, um, you know, she was a real popular character back in her day. You know what I'm saying? Making shit happen, okay? Because Givenchy designed this especially for her. And it was to have powdery aroma. And I swear to God, it like, when you smell it, it's like, it's like powdery. You know, but they, yeah, everybody know how good baby powder stuff and powder and stuff like that smells. And this really do have that scent for her. This word right here that none of us can't pronounce is French for forbidden. So, I don't know what he trying to tell a nigga with. I like all of these. They all have like a clean scent. As I researched it, you know what I'm saying? I, I really it really tied all together so that's my preference on whatever um just you know some other stuff I learned while I was doing my research um Megan Markell um the prince's wife or whatever she wears Joe Malone's wild bluebell I love that because Joe Malone is a black fragrance fragrance here or whatever like that and then Miguel Markel where's that I was so shocked to really read that you get, you know what I'm saying but I mean kudos to her and I love Joe Malone since like I went to an event 
way in where'd i go it was dallas texas you know so where i'm at peyton and there's a video on her about it and uh, we were in the joe malone story and i love it like i spent some money up in here this shit ain't cheap <laughs> shit's not cheap look that was that also our girl rihanna we know she loves her some love don't be shy and that's one of the ones by Killian Paris. I love Love Don't Be Shy. Love Don't Be Shy is very sweet. It reminds me of like some cotton candy or some candy. And I as I still can't picture Rihanna smelling like that, but I would think she had like something kind of like a little bit stronger. But you know, everybody have a little softer side or whatever. So I love that for her. Um my absolute favorite scent that I do not own is Baccarat 540. I do want that. I do want it. I need it. <laughs> but let me know who some of y'all favorite scents. You know what I'm saying? Whether you got it or not. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what's going on with it. And um, that's just that on that. Stay hydrated, people. Okay. Bye.